Well, well. What do we have here? Well, hello, outlaw. Don't give me that hello, outlaw crap. You've been ducking me for far too long, Riley. Oh, ducking you? Hardly, dude. I'll take you on Schmodown any day of the week, any time. Any day, any time? Any day, any time, Roka, just like last time. Uh, well, why don't you put your money where your mouth is? I owe you for that one. Oh, yeah, you want a Schmodown? Oh, I want a Schmodown right now. Oh, you want a Schmodown I, right I, I now? I want a Schmodown right now, Riley. Well, then draw. <laughs> oh, it's getting hot in here. And if you think these two take movie trivia seriously, you should take the fans into consideration. Y'all have been begging for your shot at the movie trivia Schmodown, and now you get your opportunity. We are proud to introduce the movie trivia Schmodown app. Fans will be able to play all trivia modes and compete against your favorite competitors, join a league, or play a friend one-on-one. -on -one. After you accrue enough points, you can unlock the inner geekdom division and play in another format. Find some fans from all over the world, climb up the rankings, deem a champion, challenge a champion, but make sure you've earned it. We're so excited for y'all to finally get your chance to play the movie trivia Schmodown. This app is for all you movie trivia fans who have ever said, I totally knew that. How'd you miss that? It's for everybody. Make sure you guys download it right now on iTunes for a one-time fee of just $3.99. And make sure you request to join the Movie Trivia Facebook page. And then one day, maybe you can challenge the likes of Aroka, O'Reilly, maybe even your old pal, Baby Carrots. I'll be your Huckleberry. It's Schmodown time. gentlemen, he is the Insnider, Jeff Snyder! Ladies and gentlemen, he is Little Evil, J.T. Don't, don't think I didn't prepare for this. Okay. Do you not think I have somebody on the back burner that's ready to take the place of Clark Wilson? I don't know. No? Oh, boy. Because I do. Okay. I I got a tip that he may be in the need for a partner. And uh, listen, I know about winning. As Patriots fans, we know how to win. Yeah, we do. I've seen your work on, on the Schmodown. <laughs> yeah, we do. I feel like I got to be a part of this. Oh, it's happening. You guys can win Man. two matches in a row. I'll give you a shot at the This belt. guy's a proven veteran. I'm a rising star in this league. I and I think we're going to get the job done. going to come back and you're going to see us again at the uh, spectacular which means that we will have held these belts for a full year i am seven and oh seven and oh in teams i have defended the belt four or five times i've had it for a full year okay the only thing i want now is that singles belt because i should have both of them i should have all the belts all i came within one la confidential question of a shot at merle and if i had taken dangerous dan on i would have shown you He's nothing more than a safety hazard, okay? And I have no idea winner. what it is. That's an impossible Ladies and gentlemen, the yeah. Insider, Jeff Snyder! Wow. Moving forward, there's a possibility that you might be playing Little Evil himself. Oh, man. What a fishy turn of events, wouldn't you say? Oh, yeah. That's real, right? Isn't that real? That's real. You know who did that. Yeah. You know how it was set up. Christian's trying to drive us apart. That's, That's exactly what's going to happen. Dude, did He's you trying guys, to drive a nail through did us. Did you see the rankings? I mean, anyone who's put together a bracket knows how, how to do the, the rankings. Christian said they were doing it a little different this year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, That's, are we now? A different is now code word for incorrectly. He stacks the deck constantly. This comes to worst. What are we going to do? It'll be like worlds colliding. I'm sure it'll be uh, maybe a gentleman's agreement not to just embarrass the other one. Uh, I, I think I would win, but yeah? who can say the way JT's been playing lately? Yeah, and then who play, who, who's next? Like, Andreco plays Burnett? Right. He's going to try to get all the lines and then people out of here. This guy's crazy. I really feel like I have a chance to win the belt. 
and I'm here to prove it. I'm sorry, Bibiani, William the Beast Bibiani. I made him William snooze the Beaten Bibiani. He's a snooze fest. The Godfather. I don't know what he's gonna be. He's gonna be an old man's home or something. He's gonna be in a wheelchair. He's gonna be retired. Now, I gotta say, lately, <laughs> something feels a little uneven. Uh, I've been champion the tag team for almost a year now. I think it's time to put mm -hmm. on a little shoulder pad right here. I know who's got that. Oh yeah, who's got that? That imbecile. Oh, the commish? The fake commish. <laughs> he spells commish with a one M, the guy. Let me tell you something. Uh, commish, hold on to that belt as long as you can, because I would love to take it for Four, <laughs> three. I don't have it. Two, one. So we're going to sudden death. Yes! Three, three musketeers. Three musketeers. Three musketeers. Three musketeers. Yeah. We're going to sudden uh, death. Uh, Kim Basinger. JTE. Kim Basinger. All right, one more. Here we go. Elijah Wood. Drew. Elijah Wood. Both correct. <laughs> Kevin Bacon. Drew. I have Bill Baxter. And your winner, Little, Little Eagle! Eagle. Oh, wins it again in sudden death. Wow. Kevin Bacon. Oh my God. JTE does it again. JTE versus Snyder. It's happening in round two. The champions are playing against each other. Holy crap! Listen, we we knew this day was coming. Okay? Yeah, I, mean, I knew that JT was gonna win this match because I beat McWeeny. JT <laughs> can beat McWeeny, yeah. and that's exactly what happened. Uh, I'm not I'm not gonna stand here and shit talk my man. Of course, you know whatever happens when we end up playing, the Lions End is advancing. We'll which both is, go which out together. We'll go out together as a team. Wow. This is just a friendly, friendly match. Two brothers in the backyard, they're gonna hit each other, but at the end of the day, they're gonna shake hands. One of the Lions Den is moving forward. If you think you're gonna get me to throw my teammate under the bus, you're wrong. This is a quarterfinal match between JTE and Jeff Snyder, Ken, two of the best competitors in this league and two of the worst dressers a human could ever be. Absolutely, Mark. Horrible. Mark, absolutely, man. This is going Good to be, to see uh, I don't you know why you're, that, that's weird to me, but it's all right. Um, uh, it, this is a this is like turmoil waiting to happen. Yeah. This is built-in intrigue right here with these two scoundrels facing off each other. I, I I'm excited on some levels to watch one of them guaranteed to lose. Well, the fact that they're playing each other leaves us to this empty seat right now because yeah. John Roca, the outlaw himself, was supposed to be joining us calling this match, and then he remembered that it was the Patriots fighting against yeah. themselves. He wanted nothing to do with it. He rode his horse, which he named Prius, right out of town. Yeah, I can't blame him. I cannot blame John. Well, we'll just have uh, It'll just, I, this is cozy and I'm okay with it. Good to see you as always, you. buddy. So just, you have just, the Patriots just don't touch here. Me. This is what we did never expected to see between a Belichick and a Brady. Right. JTE and Snyder. These are two brothers torn against themselves. Who's going to come out on top? I don't know. This reminds me of the mid-80s when it was either Steve Grogan or Tony Eason. We're going to lead the Patriots. That is such a good pull that, that is, four people get, but I am one I of them. love it. It <laughs> is a great one. Uh, oh. They are the longest reigning team champions yep. with uh, an amazing and impressive record. Even I have to admit that the Patriots have taken on all comers and swatted them away with some good matches, with some last-second finishes, but they really know their stuff. And Snyder beat Matt Nose to get here. JT beat Drew McWeeny to get here. Those are not gimme wins at all. Those are two titans of the no, game. No, absolutely. I mean, I think that this is more of a mental game right now right. between two former teammates, two teammates. Who is going to come out? Who's going to be able to outwit the other one? Somebody's going to leave here today, the New England Patriots, but someone's going to leave here, the New York football Giants. Ken, I know neither one of them likes mm. that reference. I'm a Miami Dolphin fan, so I go home crying more anyways. We're all right. Uh, both these guys got a chance to talk some smack against each other. That is something new. <laughs> Let's hear what they had to say. We knew this day was coming. 
we knew that JT and I were on two separate train tracks just bound for a collision. Okay, I'm not happy about it. I feel like the commissioner rigged it this way to screw the lion's den, to lessen our chances of getting to the finals of this tournament. But the good news is one of us is going to win. And one of the lion's den is moving forward. This is the only guy I'm actually okay losing to because we have our eyes on the prize. Whether it's me or him, it doesn't matter. One of us is going to win. I think the commissioner said, oh no, these two guys are too good. They're going to meet in the championship. We got to make sure they see each other way early in the match. It's only because they're afraid it was going to just be, listen, nobody wants to see Michael Jordan one-on-one -on -one with a middle schooler, okay? You want to see a good matchup. Today, it's about forging my own legacy, carving my own path in this league. Uh, do I feel like I've been carrying JT? Absolutely not. If you think you're going to get me to throw my teammate under the bus, you're wrong, okay? The Patriots are stronger than JT and I are as individuals. You know, I'm sick of people saying that Snyder's carrying me. Ask Snyder. He will tell you I've been answering a lot of these questions, some of the harder ones. You know, it's a team effort, guys. Sometimes he's going to get it, sometimes I'm going to get it. We both have strengths, we have weaknesses. That's why we're such a great team. I've missed a few here and there, and JT has had my back. But I think I've uh, shown what I can do in this tournament. Uh, I took out McWeeny, same as him. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about my chances. Bottom line is we're a team, and that's why we're so great. And I'm sick of you guys out there underestimating me. If I beat him today, it's not because I'm finally stepping up my game. It's just because it's two great players having a great match who showed what they're made of. I think you're going to see a really strong round one out of me. Uh, round two could go either way. It's all about that damn wheel. But you bet in round three, you know, I mean, round three, JT is uh, he's used to me going first. He's used to me, you know, giving the Patriots a, a good start in round three. I think he may stumble. It's all going to come down to that five-point question. We're both two of the greatest players that ever played the game. Bottom line, period. Uh, this is stupid. I'm done. Can you dig it, dig it sucker? Dig it, sucker. Sucker. What's up? This is Booker T, five-time champ, six-time world champ, WWE Hall of Famer, king of the ring, and we're back here on the Schmoe Down, and this week, guys, we got a tag team, a Hall of Fame tag team, taking on each other in singles competition. Jeff Schneider versus JTE. Some people might think about JTG, the wrestler, but no, this is J T E. And I'm talking about somebody that's always ready, willing, and able to throw it down on the slow down. But hey, my man Schneider, Schneider, always doing it like it's supposed to be done. Making a bow down. Making all them suckers pay, my son. I gotta go with the Schneid on the Schneid. Now can you dig that? Jeff Schneider going all the way. Hey guys, make sure you check out Reality of Wrestling each and every Sunday streaming on Fight TV. You're talking about a fight. Schneider, JTE. Can you see that? Really, Blood Brothers to the core. You referenced the mid-80s. It's like a Bon Jovi song. They just cannot stop loving each other. Maybe a tiny bit of shade thrown from one of the bit. others. Who is actually carrying Team Patriots the whole time. But they're really acting like the league is putting them up to this. Uh, but still, hey, it doesn't matter how they got here, Ken. Only one is leaving on top. Yeah, you know, the conspiracy stuff only goes so far with me. They're here to fight each other. And if they're not going to talk smack against each other, you know the fans are. A lot of them wondering, maybe Maybe this proves who is the weak link ooh, in that championship ooh. team. Uh, well, this will be good. Well, what's the tale of the tape here? What are the strengths of each one of these numbers? Well, schools? with Jeff Snyder, the favored uh, competitor, his strengths are classics, 90s movies. He knows directors, Tarantino, big, big with actors. He's also great at blocking people on Twitter. JTE <laughs> sports movies, Arnie and Sly, and making the best GD thumbnails in the business. They are huge Patriots fans. Between them, they own one current jersey 
and now we're about to meet them. Kent Knapsack, how you feeling, buddy? Uh, I'm good. You good? I am literally and figuratively right behind you. <laughs> and it's time for the movie Trivia Schmodown. It's Schmodown time. All right, here you go. Introducing first. Who's it starting? Representing the Lions then, with a record of six wins, six defeats, and one KO. He is the 2016 Team Player of the Year. One half of the reigning Team Champion of the World. Please welcome Little Eagle, JT. Director. He does look Tom like Dagnino. a French director. He's from the, uh, wow. from the neck up, JT, with his belt. Very proud of that. Yeah. Holding it up. Still wearing the Team Patriot shirt. Interesting to note. Yeah, well, you know, he doesn't have many choices in his apartment at home. All right. And his opponent. <laughs> Representing <laughs> the Lions Den. With a record of five wins and three defeats and two KOs. He is the 2016 Team Player of the Year, one half of the reigning Team Champions of the World, Jeff the Insider. Snyder! Oh, oh Chris Hancock, Chris Hancock the Walking lioness, the queen around. of the jungle. You know, Ken, it seems like the crowd has picked their favorite patron. It yeah. is not Jeff Snyder. Yeah. You see JD. Giving him Clapping a standing them. ovation. They feel, they Hancock do feel. Uh, places the belt. Yeah, placing the belt. For Snyder, looking oh, as right. uh, spiffy as we have ever seen him. And, and yeah. Jeff Snyder's shirt, which I'm just noticing for the very first time, is the Patriots logo, but it's got an X taped on it. Yeah, that's only he, he can do. He is X and JT's face out. You can see it there. Between that Don Johnson jacket there, this is going to be a ferocious, fiery fight. We here at the Schmoda do want to point out that that shirt that Snyder is wearing is not ever going to be available. Or maybe it will. I don't know. We'll see how popular it is. Ken Knapsack, are you yep. ready to go? Uh, I am ready. Competitors, are you ready to go, Jeff Snyder? I am. Good luck, JT. All right, oh, well, they are ready. Nice. JT, you're ready as well? I'm ready, it's buddy. It's hard to see. Let's I go. got some. What's, hi. There's something hi. happening. Hi. What's, what's. Here at the uh, answer desk, we're joined. Um, we have the pleasure of being joined by what? none other than. Uh, this is. Yeah. This is. Harloff's the commish still, right? He hasn't left yet. Can he? he I don't like. Clown. What? What's. What? The famous French director, Francois Poirot, has been joined. Yeah. The, here at the studio. I heard uh, you guys needed somebody here. Uh, we didn't say we needed. We just had an empty seat. That's a need and... Well, I look, let me tell you something here. Yeah. There's a lot of winners over here, and over here especially. Yeah. But, like, it cuts off when it goes that way. Uh, you know, Jesus was a carpenter, you know? He, uh, I don't think I'm not comfortable with You know, he this built entertainment line. centers. Okay, let's, this is not the know, Bible trivia okay. showdown. Let's, what? Let's, I'm just saying, I build champions. Okay, I'm, I'm right with the guy. Okay, that's, you neck know. Neck and neck with the guy. Okay, that's good. If, if I have to sit here with your chest hair, let's at least get it going. He's yeah. going to be joining us here at the desk. Uh, don't worry, he's not okay. allowed to ask any questions. However, Tom, I do have to ask you right before we get rolling here, yeah. do you think Jeff Snyder or JT is going to pull this one out? You walk JT out, you've seen both competitors. Who do you think is going to take it? You know, I'll tell you what. Either way, I'm a winner. All right. Yeah. Great okay. answer. That's Concise. Good. That's All what right. we like. All right. Jeff to. is ready. JTE is ready. Correct. All right. Then let's get ready to schmoda. <laughs> Three rounds to a finish. Competitors, you are no stranger to this format. I will give you the brief reminder that round one will involve eight questions from eight different movie categories. Each question is worth one point. There is no penalty for missing one. There is no stealing. Once we ask the question, please write it down on the whiteboard in front of you. When we ask you to reveal your alleged answer, please show it to the cameras at the same time you verbalize it into your phone that is micro. Here we go. JT versus Snyder. Your first question comes from the world of action adventure movies. Hmm. And your question is thus. What is the name of the idyllic place that Furiosa is taking Immortal Joe's wives in Mad Max Fury Road? Tom, did you see Mad I know you were a big Mel Gibson guy. Yeah, I was at a party with Mel Gibson. Mad Max Fury That's Road? all legally you can say about I, that uh, party. I think I watched, I watched Five, The World Warrior once. Four, three, 
two, and one. Pens down, pens down. Jeff Snyder. I had no idea. The, wa the Wasteland? Uh, nope. Oh. Incorrect. Wasteland. All team right. is for a reason. Yeah. 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 There you go. Correct. Wow. All right. They fail their way together. All what right, zero, 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 what zero. The green place. The green place. Right. Lots of marijuana. I uh, can't confirm that. All right. Mel Gibson was in there? Question two in the category of animated. What is the name of the woodcarver who creates Pinocchio in Disney's Pinocchio? Ooh, I know that. is wow. groaning here. I know um, that one. Hey, uh, quick question, Ken. Yep. yep. Does spelling count? Yeah. Not on this With one. Spelling Just does not count. Pronunciation five, does. Five, four, three, two, and one. JTE, give it a go. Geppetto? I oh. mean, <laughs> don't know if, I mean... <laughs> I, I mean, I don't know. I mean, hey, does anybody else know how to spell Geppetto? <laughs> you know, <laughs> hey, oh that's my why God. that's why I went first because I knew uh, I could pronounce it. Okay. Oh my God! All right. All right. Um, we're gonna accept it, Jeff Snyder. Geppetto. Uh, could you show him exactly how to do that? Yeah, uh, add a P, though. Oh. That is we correct. Need, with we a G. need one with a G. more P. All right, one more P needed, but closer. All First right. name, Papa. He's not American. Ladies and gentlemen, where the New England school system has failed, they have succeeded with the correct answer. And your yeah. next category comes from the world of dramas. And your question, who played Mason's biological father in Boyhood? All right, how many kids mm, do you good. have? I, um, how many three. kids at last count do you have? Three, what are their names? But they're all from the Philippines. Okay. They're all okay. That's a good way to end that Five, dialogue. Four, three, two, and one pens down. Jeff Snyder. Ethan Hawk. That's correct for a point. Ethan Hawk. All right, that's all right. correct for a point. Well done, guys. Someone make sure he didn't spell pigeon. All Best right. players in the games right here. Best players in the game. All right. Question four category is romance. Romance. Does JT know anything about this? All right. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. All right. okay. Shade thrown. Slight uh, dig. Slight dig. All right. What Woody Allen film centered around a time-traveling author? Hmm. Tom Dynino, you can go to one time in history. Where are you going? And uh, could you please go there now? I would go to the Mesopotamian era. <laughs> I believe Five, it's Mesopotamian. Five, four, yeah, that's close enough. three, close. two, and one. Pens are down. JTE. That would be Midnight in Paris. That's and correct. I'll take my girlfriend there one day. Oh, oh, that'd be romantic. oh yeah, that's how you answer that. All right, that's romantic right there. No that's why, a big uh, romance. All right, Jeff. Maybe, maybe I'll buy a prostitute, Midnight in Paris. <laughs> okay, all right. All right. All right. That's true. <laughs> I All right. Puerto Rico one there day. we go. Jeff Snyder. Question five. JTE. We're tied. Three points apiece. Your next category, famous actors and actresses. Name the 2002 remake in which Adam Sandler plays a role that originally earned Gary Cooper an Oscar nomination in 1937. It didn't uh -huh. give uh, Sandler one, though, did it? it that uh, we'll did have not. to check that. Yeah. Nah, I, I can British. Uh, um, we'll, I, I'll have it. to look it up to be safe. Five, four, I'm getting the three, note. two, and one. We have Jeff Snyder. I'm not sure about this. Mr. Deeds? That is correct for a point. JT. Mr. Deeds. Wow. That's correct for a point. We are These guys are up. just two of the best players here. After missing the first round, all right, we have question six. Category is comedies. Comedies. In what 2001 comedy is a fictional comic book called Blunt Man and Chronic being turned into a movie? Hmm. And the audience is uh, not happy with that. The there, audience, I don't quite, we're getting yeah. some groans, Tom. Do you just think that's because they are so used to booing these? Yeah, if there's conspiracy. Uh, I think so. Five. It's definitely the case. Four, three, two, and one. All right, JT. Jay and Silent Bob strike back. That is correct for a point. Ugh. Fifteen bucks, little man. It's Jay and Silent bucks. Bob strike back. <laughs> All right, yeah. tied up at five. Hey, tied up so at five, and uh, we should note that JT has spelled his last three answers perfectly fine. Yeah, that's Congratulations. Correct. That's Extra correct. points. He does get a lot of crap, but he's he's on a roll here. All and right. let's see if he can continue that going into the category of fantasy science fiction films. Mm -hmm. Who played Professor Lockhart in Harry Potter? and the Chamber of Secrets. Hmm. All right. This game's a lot easier when you can see the answers. Uh, yeah, make sure you're not giving like signals to the, your teammates over there. We should have checked for he that. He does look uh, like a CD uh, poker five, player in Vegas. Four, three, two, and one. Are we gonna need an answer? Jeff. Harry Potter sucks. 
Uh, uh, nope, that is it. Correct. And not, not a popular decision. JTE. This is a guess. Kenneth Brana? That is correct. Wow. JT, JT takes the lead. Takes the lead. This guy's the best. All right, final question in round one. So one Harry Potter. The uh, category is horror thriller. Horror thriller. Who directed Kiefer Sutherland and Julia Roberts in the 1990 sci-fi horror Flatliners? You know, Kiefer Sutherland uh, headbutted me one time in a in a bar. Yeah, I believe that. I, I believe every part of that Just now, story. become my favorite celebrity. Five. Yeah, I had a headache. Four, he goes here. This will solve it. Three, two, and one. All right, JTE. Joel Schumacher. That is correct. Joel Schumacher. That is correct. Watch All right. Okay, it's so it is a thumb. narrow one-point right. lead, but that's a big one point in this match where it seems they are so evenly positioned yeah. against one another. The former brothers turn competitors, JTE leading 7-6 to six after a uh, firework laden and barb tossing Ooh. first right. round. We now move on to round two affectionately known as the wheel round. In this round, each competitor gets a spin at yonder wheel. If you don't like the category you spin, you are allowed one mulligan, at which point you must take whatever category is landed upon. Each category has four questions in it. Each question is worth two points. If you're not sure of the answer, you may check the multiple choice, at which point the value of the question goes down to one. Keep in mind, competitors, there is stealing available in round two. There is no penalty for missing a question. JTE, you are in the smallest of leads you could possibly have according to the laws of mathematics. Would you like to spin first or defer Ooh, to Jeff choice. Snyder? I'll go first. He's going to go first then. Give it a good choice. All right. It's a great spin. On. Andre Tippett could not have done it better himself. He's this being a quarterfinals he, match is a oh, joke. Oh, so close. close to sports movies. I know that's a favorite of JTE. We'll you take Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise is going to take Tom Cruise. Of course he's going to take Tom Cruise. All right, Tom Cruise. Mm -hmm. Pretty right. well on this last time. Ken Knapsack will be administering the Tom Cruise questions. All right, four questions. Tom Cruise. Four questions coming in for you, JT. Don't forget, you have multiple choice if you want it. First question. In Vanilla Sky, Tom Cruise falls in love with his best friend's girlfriend. Who was she played by? Penelope Cruz. That's correct. Two points. This should be a. Is this a quarterfinals match? That's ridiculous. This should be a finals match. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to ignore him from now on. All right. Second question, JT. Second question. Yep. In Risky Business, what does Joel's father scold him for doing? Hmm. Five. Multiple choice. All right. Can't A, exactly. moving his records out of alphabetical order. B, keeping the stereo on overnight. C, changing the settings on the equalizer. D, leaving a tape in the cassette player. B, C. That is correct for a point. Wow. That's somebody who's seen that flick a bunch All of right. times. I love that movie. Question three. Question three. Who directed Rain Man? Uh, Barry Levinson. That is correct wow. for two points. Two more points for JT. He can take right. a commanding lead this right here. Beast. What was Tom Skerritt's call sign in Top Gun? Ooh, that's a tough one. They're making Top Gun 3, actually. Your commentary is spot on. Yeah, Top Gun 3. Five, four, three. Multiple choice. A, Merlin. B, Jester. C, Charlie. D, Viper. Hmm. Can you repeat the, repeat the choices again? The choices, all right. A, Merlin, B, Jester, C, Charlie, D, Viper. Five, it's four, A. Uh, a. Incorrect, Snyder, for the steal. I need the choices once more. A, Merlin, B, Jester, C, Charlie, D, Viper. Viper. Five. Uh, that is correct for wow. a steal. Correct for a steal. Big All steal. right. I say it's A or C, but end well, of that round, we have a seven. 12 would have That's right. And very disappointing, Ken. First, first, first they part of it. look like two people that have seen Top Gun at least 100 times each, and yeah. yet they barely limp into the Viper correct question. Jeff Snyder, yeah. you are now up. It is a five-point deficit a for spin, you. Buddy. Let's right. see what the wheel can do to change that fortune. All right, spin coming Snyder, in. Snyder, not, he can't even look at his own fate. You know he probably likes that Fincher category. Here comes Ken. Here it comes. Oh, wow. we oh, have some choice. Drama. He flew wow. too close to the sun spin. with Fincher, and he got opponent's choice. 
JTE. Uh, let's go J -J animated. Wow. He's going animated. Animated. Jeff animated. Snyder, not known for his love of animated fare. We're going to see Ooh. how he does under the white hot spotlight of the ultimate Schmodown quarterfinals. Jeff Snyder. Go. Sure, everybody you're made up, Jeff. You did not spin the category of animated movies, <laughs> but it was given to you by your playing competitor. What, what a gift. JTE. Who cares enough to give the very best? What Disney character rings the bells of Notre Dame? Quasimodo. That's correct. Two, Two points. points. Two crowd, points. Crowd, I mean, I, you know. I knew a guy named Quasimodo once. Yeah. Your next question, as the lead is now shrunk to three, Sharp Tooth, the ferocious T-Rex, is a character in what animated film? Five. Multiple choice. Four. Is it A, the good dinosaur, B, Ice Age, Dawn of the Dinosaurs, C, the land before time, or D, dinosaur? The land before time. That's One for point, point. Yeah. for Jeff Snyder, and yeah. it is suddenly a two-point game with two questions to go in the animated category. The JTE did give to Jeff Snyder that decision backfiring thus far. Your next question, which director, known mostly for his work in the comic book movie genre, Directed Legend of the Guardians. Oof. You know, I knew, I knew, I knew a guy named uh, Quasi. Zack Snyder. Two, Two points. points. Two points. For Jeff Snyder. All right, tie ball That's game. A tough one. The Owls of Gahul may be the best movie Zack Snyder's directed, and I love when, that when, owl When you movie. didn't say the you Owls, say the Gahul, I, I, yeah. I was like, what? I did say the Owls in my head. Your next question. <laughs> And your last question, to take a two-point lead potentially hmm. over Josh the Engineer. Phil Collins sang, You'll Be In My Heart, for what 1990s Disney movie? Lily Collins. That's actually when he had Lily Collins. That is we five. Five. I cannot confirm or deny that. Your options are A, Tarzan, B, Mulan, C, Pocahontas, or D, Hercules? Crowd not to I'm going to need a repeat five. on the choices. We wow. can do that for you. Is it A, Tarzan, B, Mulan, C, Pocahontas, or D, Hercules? Five. Four, re re repeat the entire question. Three. I'll take All the right, first he's one. He's taking the right. JTE whoa, rule. Whoa, whoa. Phil Collins saying, You'll be in my heart for what 1990s Disney film? Is it A, Tarzan, B, Mulan, C, Pocahontas, or D, Hercules? Five, four, three. Pocahontas. That is incorrect, JT. Tarzan. Wow. He's got the lead Still going into lead. round Big three. Point. Big no point. JTE. And as we say goodbye to round two, before we welcome round three, Tom Dagnito, that was a clutch answer by JTE. You know better than most that could be the deciding factor in a match as close as this. Oh, absolutely. It's close. It was going to come down to that. This is a one-point game. It's, it's uh, either person's gonna win by one point here. These guys are so fantastic at this game. Like I said earlier, there should be a, a, a finals match. There's no way it should be a quarterfinals match. You Absolutely can take not. that up with powers higher than us mere announcers. And as we move on to round number Evil Dead three, when I was 12, not Tarzan. here is how the round three works. As I'm sure you guys are already aware, each competitor is gonna give us a series of three numbers ranging from one to 20. Those numbers correspond to a movie category mm. up here at the answer desk. The first question is worth two points. The next question is worth three points. And the last question, five points. JTE, you have a lead of one. Yeah. You will be giving us your numbers first. What are they? Let's go five, 11, 13. Great numbers. Five, 11, Five, 13. 11, and 13. He went all odds. Ken, yeah. Jeff Snyder, up to you. Four, six, eight. Four, six, eight. Four, Said six, so eight. quickly Great we numbers, had to Josh. repeat it just to <laughs> know it. Numbers, Jeff. All right. Great numbers, Jeff. Ken Knapsack oh, will be administering the questions to Jeff Snyder because he is trailing. He will hear his two-point question Ooh. first. All right, Jeff, you chose uh, number four. That is a category of Will Smith movies. Will Smith movies. All right. Two-point question. 
Who plays the President of the United States in the Will Smith sci-fi action flick, Independence Day? Oh, wow. Bill Pullman. That yeah. is correct for two points. Wow. Correct. He's a good guy. Jesus. And plays hockey. We go back to JTE. For your two-point question, you selected number five. And that corresponds to Julia Roberts' movies. It's okay. He's great at Julia Roberts stuff. Julia Roberts movies, and your question is, in what movie, based on a play, does Ewan McGregor play Julia Roberts' husband? Oof. Not Conor McGregor. Five, four, three, two, one. Gonna need an answer. Julia, Julia? I don't even know. August Osage County. Uh, that that August incorrect for Osage JT, County. correct, but no steal for Jeff. I never saw that. 14, 13 Sucks. remains to score. JT terrible, needs to come up with this one. That's terrible. Right. Terrible. Now film. move on to 11. 11. Is. He said. All right. And your question is from the world of romantic comedies. He's fantastic in this. Name. The 1990 romantic comedy that carried the tagline, she walked off the street into his life and stole his heart. Pretty woman? That is correct. Nice well, draw for uh, Julia Roberts fan, JTE. And now we go back to Jeff Snyder for his three-pointer, Ken. All right, Jeff, uh, possibly to take the lead back here. <laughs> you chose the number six. That is the category of family films. Family uh, films. He's good at this, too. Something I'm sure you and your prostitute will be watching a lot of. <laughs> In Paris. <laughs> All right. In France. Three-point question. In the movie Space Jam. What two people were playing golf with Michael Jordan when he went missing? Larry Bird and Charles Barkley? That is incorrect. 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 It's Wayne Knight. Larry Bird. Wayne Knight. Bill Murray. That's right. correct. Wow. That's what? correct. Wayne Knight was with them, but he I was believe with them, but he, he wasn't was playing. Yeah. Playing golf. He was not playing. All right. That's Newman. That's right. Larry Bird was in the McDonald's commercial with them. All so right, with was, that, Jeff, the pressure yeah. is on you. Your five-point question Ooh, is coming boy. up. Martin's if you get this, a hot here, you Tom. toss it back a to JTE. If heat. you miss, JTE is the better of these two teammates. Hey, hey, Determined hey, here <laughs> forever. Team. All right, you chose the number eight. The number eight. That is the category of action-adventure. Action-adventure. Five-point question. Who played Racer X in the action adventure comedy Speed Racer? Ooh. Oh, he's got it. Matthew Fox. That's correct for five wow. points. He literally five took the microphone points. as though he wanted to keep a prop from the last match he ever played oh, or the last time he was ever seen, yet he gets the question right. So now it goes back to JTE. JTE, I got good Elvis. news for you. It's real simple. You get this question right, you win and advance to the semifinals. If you miss it, Jeff Snyder, your personal masseuse, will be moving on instead. <laughs> your question. Category. Comes from the category of 80s movies. He's good at this. 80s movies. And your question is, known for playing villains in film and television, Billy Drago played mob gunman Frank Needy in what film? Five, four, repeat, repeat. Three. All right, his first repeat. I can repeat the question. Known for playing villains in film and television, Billy Drago played mob gunman Frank Needy in what film? Is it Needy? Is it Needy? Four. I'm gonna say The Untouchables. Three. And your winner! Moving on to the next round, Little Eagle! Woo this guy is the best in the business. I mean, unbelievable. As much, uh, the crap, rightfully so, as we give Tom on a daily, nightly basis around these parts. He backed the right horse here today. Ken, Tom, do. your immediate thoughts on JTE narrowly escaping I hear, the closet. I want to hear what do you Snyder. think, man? This is your team, this, man. Plus either here. one of these guys would have wiped the floor with that clown Harloff. But this guy is on such a roll, JTE. 
This is his year. He's going to be the first person to hold this two, uh, the two-time belt, guaranteed. S singles and tag team, guaranteed. All right, that's probably the best thing you've said all day. With that, let us pitch it to the back where the lioness, the queen of the jungle, Grace Hancock, is with the winners and the loser. Hey, Movie Trivia Schmodown fans, I'm Grace Hancock, and uh, nice try, Ken, but uh, we're all winners here. I'm here with the Lion Scent. You guys, this was a very confusing match for me because I wasn't really sure who I was rooting for, and I didn't know who to go to when you won. Congrats, my friend. This is your third win in a row. You're slaying it Kids right now. Roll. Yeah, thank you. I got to say, you know, one thing during this match I realized just how great teammates we are because you were getting questions that I didn't really know. I did not know Matthew Fox, and I was like, this guy pulled that out. This is why this guy is my teammate. And there was ones you didn't know that I knew. So I'm just like, you know what? We, we fought each other here because we had to. The commissioner put us in that position. But all I walk away from this, all I walk away from this is knowing we're a better team than I even thought we were. We might keep this thing for two years. We might retire with these belts. JTE impressed the hell out of me today. Seven points in that first round. You know, he got off to a hot start. When I rolled opponent's choice, didn't really help me out. And, uh, and hey, that Frank Nitty pull with Untouchables, that was big. Yeah, I mean, Jeff, you were constantly just right behind him the whole time. It was a super tight match. Yeah, I just didn't get uh, didn't get my categories. Got stuck with animation. You know, I know. There, there yeah. There were enough horror thriller questions, crime dramas, sort of my, the darker. Yeah, uh, yeah, genre my taste stuff. too. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of felt like I got screwed in the categories a little bit today. Yeah, but I mean, like I said, all winners here, all good things. Mark, what did you think? Well, I felt like Meryl Streep at Sophie's Choice before I get on the train. It was like, who, which one do I pick? Which one do I pick? But, you know, it, once again, a close match is always fun to watch, and this was just back and forth, back and forth, and it proves that that wheel man has no favorites. That wheel no. will humble you at any given time, so it's to be able to, to bounce back. It's but a, it's there's a filthy no shame mistress. in either one of these. This was a good game, a good score. Yeah, and, you know, I was a little surprised. There was a couple shots fired between you two. I heard a... A prostitution joke? Listen, when brothers it's, it's not fight, a joke. Yeah, <laughs> anytime. It's not a joke if it's true. Yeah, yeah. anytime yeah. brothers get on the court, they're gonna rough it up a little bit, and I totally get it. I want to win. He wants to win. We're competitors, and that's why we're teammates. Because we both always want to win. I wouldn't want anything less from this guy. I want him to go for the win every single time. It's like when teammates fight in practice, you know. Yeah. Uh, it's just com right. our competitive <laughs> nature. But really, if I was gonna lose to anybody in this tournament, I'm proud that it was JTE, and I'm excited to see him go forth and win another belt for the Lions Den. Absolutely, and, and all right. JTE said that if he beat Snyder, he was gonna buy a prostitute for him, so it's a win-win. Hey. I did not know that. Look at that brothers, brotherly love. Brothers, Very sweet. Um, and next, okay, so after this, let's talk above the line, team action. What are your thoughts? The finals. I mean, if, if I'm them, I'm scared. I'm like terrified right now, because watching us fight each other, you just saw how good we were and how much we complimented each other. Right. I honestly don't really care who wins out of this match. I we're gonna we're gonna win this thing. Well, yeah. Again, the spectacular. It's gonna be spectacular for us, not for anybody else. Yeah, ne neither one of these teams really scares me. I would love to get a shot at team action, but uh, we're gonna play it how it lies. Yeah, and then I mean, you now that this is your third win here. Now next, you're gonna go against either Kalinowski or Brianne. What are your thoughts? Do you have any opinions on either one of those? Uh, I could beat either of them. Uh, I don't really. I mean, listen, some of they've been here for a little while, and there's times where I'm like, oh, they got that one. I'm surprised because, I, honestly, I think they're both decent players. I just don't think they're you anywhere close to our level. No, they're not. So who is? I'm just this looking. Was, this was basically yeah. the finals of the tournament right here. Let's yeah, I mean, serious. listen, I don't take any too much too much lightly. So I will defeat whoever gets put in, in front of me next. Absolutely. But I'm looking to the championship, and I'm looking forward to spectacular. That's all I really care about. Well, guys, I mean, once again, here we are, the Lions Den, just slaying everything we do. And uh, guys, until next time, great job today. Spectacular. All right, well, you see that, Ken? And the word that I keep having resounding in my head amid all the voices in my head, yep. team. You know, uh, yeah. you talk about Patriots, they, they talk some junk even during the match. There were some light barbs tossed at each other, but they still support Team Patriots. Mm -hmm. A very classy post-game interview by both the winner, JT, and the loser, Jeff Snyder. And by the way, it was one hell of a game yeah. leading up to that 21-19 yep. is a very close victory, but you have to wonder if this proves that JTE is, in fact, the strength of the team. Oh, knapsack. Which is something what, what you no? know? I know what you're trying to do. It's a fair just, question, You're Tom. trying to drive a nail through them. No, it's no, It's not going to happen. They're totally fine. I, no, I, I think totally fine. These guys are seven-time defending champions, and they're going to smoke whoever they play in, in, in uh, Spectacular. And JT is going to win the belt off this clown Harloff. Professional chest waxer though he may be, he is not a psychic, but he did see am, a slight my vision of the future, as he did predict JTE would be winning and advancing to the semifinals. Tom, I'm not going to say I hope you had fun today. No. Well, surprisingly, I did. I, I, I actually don't you know. 
You guys are pretty fantastic guys. Not going to affect my life if there one was way nobody or else in the, world. the other. But yeah. um, here we want to remind you guys to continue to watch the Ultimate Schmodown Singles Tournament. Ken, if they have not already requested to be a member of the Movie Trivia Schmodown Facebook page, what are they doing wrong in their life? you got to wonder that. Stop, drop, and roll your way over there right now. And also, don't forget to check out the Schmodown Rundown on the Schmodown Podcast Network. Yep. Uh, Frank, I love that Aaron. Show. Brian, break down all the games, give you the stats and stories. It is a good show. What's up, everyone? Frank from The Rundown and JTE. He continues his hot streak this year, defeating fellow Patriot Jeff Snyder here in the quarterfinals by a score of 21 to 19. It was an impressive match from both players. Now what's interesting about this first round is that in their team matches together, JTE has never scored more points in the first round than Snyder, but that's exactly what happened here. In fact, JTE has never, has never scored 7 points in the first round in either division, teams or singles. Now going through the second round, JTE and Snyder had exactly the same round, both scoring 6 points. And I do mean exactly the same round. Both went three for four, both went to multiple choice on the same numbered question, and both stole each other's fourth question for one point. Now moving on to the third round, this is where the fireworks happened as it was back and forth till the very end. Also, another weird coincidence happened here. In teams, Jeff always answers the first question in the final round, and JTE answers the second question. Now Jeff got the first question right, but failed to do so on the second. Now the opposite was true for JTE, he missed the first question and was right on the second. It's just another weird thing that shows how good of a pairing they really are. And despite both answering their 5 pointer, it's JTE who comes away with his 4th victory of the year, his 3rd in a row, and he advances to the tournament semifinals. Now let's go inside the numbers of this match. Alrighty, as we start off here, we can see Jeff Snyder answer 12 out of 16 questions for an accuracy rate of 75% and was 1 for 1 on his steal opportunities for his 19 points. Looking over at JTE, he answered just one more question correctly than Jeff Snyder, going 13 out of 16 to put his accuracy rate at 81%. This is actually the first time JTE has ever finished a match where he has answered 80% or more of his questions right, and he was one for one on his steal opportunities just like Snyder for 21 points. Now this match had performances that were good enough to affect some records as one might have guessed. Alright, let's start off with the highest scoring match performances. Sliding in at number 10 is Snyder vs JTE where they combined to score 40 points. That's just behind number 9, Harlov vs Roka from the 2016 tournament. And the reason they are number 10 and not 9 is because Harlov and Roka, they combined to score 88% of the questions in that match. Whereas Snyder vs JTE, they combined to answer 78% of the questions in their match. And that's where the tiebreaker comes in place. Moving on to the singles tournament performances, JTE finally joined the four other matches from this year's tournament, scoring 81% just behind his teammate Jeff Snyder when he took on Matt Nost who scored nearly 86%. Now another key stat that's fun to look at is the all-time point leaders. Jeff Snyder moved from 8 to 7 on this list with 143 points through 9 matches and now JTE finally cracks the top 5 taking over Christian Harloff. JTE has 161 points through 13 matches, just 5 points behind Dangerous Dan Murrow. Now another interesting stat to look at here is JTE's 3 game winning streak. This is in fact his second 3 game winning streak. He is one of two people to have separate 3 game winning streaks. The other person is Mark Riley. When you take a look at JTE's three game winning streak right now, currently it sits at 8th best all time. Through three matches he's answered 72% of his questions while earning 59 points. And that 59 points is actually the best through a three game stretch here during a three game winning streak. And hey, if you're looking for more stats and info on your favorite players and teams, 
go follow SD Rundown Stats on Twitter for more. And if you want to listen to a full breakdown and analysis of this match and every other match, be sure to check out the Schmodown Rundown podcast every Saturday on the SK Plus YouTube channel, as well as on the Schmoes No podcast feed on iTunes. All right, that's going to do it. This has been your post-match Schmodown Breakdown. Well, well, what do we have here? Well, hello, outlaw. Don't give me that hello, outlaw crap. You've been ducking me for far too long, Riley. Oh, ducking you? Hardly, dude. I'll take you on Schmodown any day of the week, any time. Any day, any time? Any day, any time, Roka, just like last time. Uh, well, why don't you put your money where your mouth is? I owe you for that one. Oh, yeah, you want a Schmodown? Oh, I want a Schmodown right now. Oh, you want a Schmodown I, right I, I now? I want a Schmodown right now, Riley. Well, then draw. <laughs> oh, it's getting hot in here. And if you think these two take movie trivia seriously, you should take the fans into consideration. Y'all have been begging for your shot at the movie trivia Schmodown, and now you get your opportunity. We are proud to introduce the Movie Trivia Schmodown app. Fans will be able to play all trivia modes and compete against your favorite competitors, join a league, or play a friend one-on-one. -on -one. After you accrue enough points, you can unlock the inner geekdom division and play in another format. Find some fans from all over the world, climb up the rankings, deem a champion, challenge a champion, but make sure you've earned it. We're so excited for y'all to finally get your chance to play the movie trivia Schmodown. This app is for all you movie trivia fans who have ever said, I totally knew that. How'd you miss that? It's for everybody. Make sure you guys download it right now on iTunes for a one-time fee of just $3.99. And make sure you request to join the Movie Trivia Facebook page. And then one day, maybe you can challenge the likes of Aroka, O'Reilly, maybe even your old pal, Baby Carrots. I'll be your Huckleberry. It's Schmodown time.